Hello and welcome to episode 3 of SAL Stack from Scratch series. In our previous episodes, we installed and configured Master and Minion, and we also went over SAL states and created some formulas. Today, I'm going to show you how to use SAL to manage Linux servers that don't have Minions installed. To do that, all you have to do is run apt install salt ssh and that will install a uh, salt ssh module on your salt master server now salt ssh module will create a uh, file called roster that's located in etsy salt so if we go to nano etsy salt and then we go to roster and in the roster is where you're gonna add your remote machines. And this basically is like a roster of all the machines that you will manage without having minions in them. And so here you're gonna have a little sample of how to configure your machine. And for this example, um, I have created a, a web server on 192.168.0203. And as you can see, I will list all running services here just to confirm that we don't have minion on this machine. So if I do, service status that dash all and as you can see we don't have minion running here and we can also go back to our master server and do salt dash key and as you can see we only have the two minions from um, our previous video the 201 and 202 so this server is not being managed by salt right now so we're going to go back to the master and we're going to go to the, the roster file. And here we're going to create a new entry for our web server. So um, we're going to call it web-203. Don't forget the column because it's not going to work if you don't do it. And then we're going to say host. And here we're going to put the IP of it, so 192. 168.0.203 and in my case I'm gonna just use um, the root user but you know you can use different user just make sure that um, if you use a user different than root um, and you want to be able to run like uh, sudo commands you need to add that user to the sudoers list on that remote machine so just one thing to remember so here I'm gonna say user root and then I'm also going to say sudo true that's to allow me to run sudo now I'm not going to use password we're going to use private public key pair in order to authenticate between the bolt machines but if you want you can do it with a password but in my case I'm going to use key so I'm just going to leave it like this like very basic and if you want you can go and look it up and there's tons of other stuff that you can enter here but this is just very basic just so you can see how it works so i'm gonna save this file once you install the salt ssh it also will create a public and private key pair so if you look at the list etsy salt pki master and then ssh so if you look in this directory you're gonna have a public and private key and so um what we what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna have to copy this public key to that remote machine and that way our master will be able to authenticate and be able to run commands on that remote machine so to copy that file to that remote server I'm going to use a, uh, a command that's called ssh copy id. So I'm just going to paste it here so I don't have to type all this. But basically, ssh copy id i, and then path to the public key, and then the remote server. And I'm doing it as a root. So if you hit enter here and then say yes, and then here you have to authenticate with root. That way, you give access to that remote server to copy the file over. So we're going to say, there you go. And now the file is copied. And so once this file is copied over, um, now you are, you are able to manage that remote machine 
without having minion in it. So there are two different methods to do that. You can run raw shell commands on it. So for example, let's just run a basic if config command on that remote machine. So we can do salt dash SSH web dash dual three. That's the name that we gave that machine in our roster. So web two or three, I'm gonna do, you do dash R and that's how you say that you wanna run a raw command. And then I'm gonna do F config. And let's see. Oh, so my remote machine, if I go here and I run if config, and you can see that the command is not there because I'm missing the net tools package. So let's do this. Let's run apt install net tools remotely. So from our master, we're going to do apt install dash y net dash tools. So we're going to use the raw command to install net tools on that remote machine, right? I'm missing an S here and hit enter. It's going to take a few seconds. And now we have net tools installed. So if we run our first command, if config, we should see the result. There you go. So from our master, we run command on our remote machine and you can see the result here. And I can just go back to this machine and run if config again, just to kind of make sure, confirm that it works. And there you go, you see the exact same result, but running it on the machine itself. You can also use the normal salt commands. Like for example, we can do so instead of doing dash r, you can just do, let's say, test ping, right? We remember this one from our last video. So we do test ping. And that will reply back. Or you can apply a salt formulas to it. So like, let's see if we go to our directory where we have all of our formulas. And let's see what we have here. So let's see what's in our top file. So we have, what do we have? So we're going to do add remove package and then change index. So if you remember from the last video, this change index will only apply on the machines um, that end in 202, uh, but this will apply on every single machine, right? So if I go here and I say, let's see what's an add remove package now. So if I can't add remove package. So what that would do is it will remove MC um, it will install Apache and it will make sure that Apache is up and running. So let's let's give it a quick test. I'm going to come here, I'm going to run MC. We don't have MC, so I'll do apt install. Actually, let's do this. Let's install it from here just to make sure that it works, right? So if I run the, if I just run this, but instead of test ping, I use another solid command, right? So what was it? CMD run like this, and I say apt install dash y mc. Oops, I misspelled it. So apt install mc, and that will install mc, the midnight commander. If we come here, there we go, we have it. So now from here, what I can do is state.apply And that uh, will run our top file, right? Our high state on our web 203 server. It will have to remove the midnight commander and install and start Apache. And let's just give it one more test just to make sure that um, currently we don't have Apache in that machine, right? If we do service status all, as you can see, there is no Apache running on this machine. And just to give it one more check, uh, we can open our browser and navigate to 192.168.0203. And as you can see, there is nothing running on this um, IP right now. So like I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna run the state.apply. Again, it's gonna take a few seconds here. There you go. You can kind of scroll through and go through the command. As you can see, the first thing it did is um, it removed MC. So it was removed and then it installed Apache and it started the Apache. Make sure that the Apache server is running. So now if we come here and do MC and MC is not going to be there. If we check the services, we'll see that now we have Apache 2 up and running. And if we check it on our web, web browser, 
we'll see that on 203 now we have Apache server running. That's it, it's pretty easy, very straightforward. And if you need more information, please let me know. I can make another video. If you have any questions, you can post it in those on the comment sections under the video. Thank you for watching. And if you like that video and you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe for my channel.